Michigan native and Larry Nassar survivor Jordan Weber in D.C. today testifying on the abuse she endured as an Olympic gold medal winning gymnast. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is live in the newsroom now and Weber asked senators to hold MSU and others accountable. Brian. Yeah, she says Michigan State University and U.S. Gymnastics. Larry Nassar's former employers along with the U.S. Olympic Committee hid Nassar's continued sexual abuse from the public and law enforcement. And she wants to see Congress act. I knew that if I questioned his treatment, I would risk my chance at making the Olympic team or being chosen to compete internationally. Gold medal winner and Fierce Five member Jordan Weber on Capitol Hill today testifying before the Senate Commerce Subcommittee hearing investigating systemic abuse in sports. The Lansing native told senators she first started seeing NASA at age eight and the abuse began at 14 with a culture of the sport allowing a predator like Larry Nasser to flourish while officials and institutions look the other way. Weaver's testimony in D.C. comes just a day after she filed a lawsuit in California against USAG and MSU, saying her medical records were destroyed and her teammates were not protected. Today, she told the committee she was betrayed by everyone. Now it's up to Congress to hold those people and, and institutions accountable who enabled Larry Nassar and attempted to cover up his terrible crimes. USA Gymnastics, the U.S. Olympic Committee and MSU must all be held accountable. No one should ever have to endure physical, emotional, or sexual abuse for the privilege of representing our country as athletes. And Weaver also called for more young athletes to be represented in the governing organizations so that they can better advocate for athletes. All of this playing in the backdrop of another NASA-inspired congressional hearing right here in Michigan, where a state house committee is looking at a package of bills to prevent a new NASA from thriving in Michigan. Reporting live in the newsroom, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Brian, thank you. The state Senate